Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Gina Blue, and I survived a Black Hebrew Israelite cult called Israel United in Christ, otherwise and more popularly known as IUIC. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you an update on what's going on with Joy Morgan, who was a member of IUIC London. Um, this is Shofa's, Shofa El Israel, the person who allegedly killed Joy Morgan, who, was all, who is also a member of IUIC London. Um, this is an update on the murder trial. Joy seen crying before disappearance. Let's get into this, y'all. IUIC London looks suspicious. So, if you watch my previous video um, where I was on my Facebook Live, I did mention that IUIC London has flagged my video, um, new Joy Morgan pre-murder trial results. They flagged that video as copyright infringement. That is false. I did not use any of their videos, original music, or anything like that. I simply used my own screen and recorded their screen of their YouTube channel. I didn't play any video. So anyway, they have until July 19th to respond to my counterclaim. If they do not have proof of copyright infringement and they do not have proof enough to take me to court, then my videos will be my video will be back uploaded um and i i may go ahead and file a lawsuit against them for filing a fraudulent claim because that is illegal missing joy morgan man denies murder pre-murder trial the pre-murder trial was june 10th 2019 Shofa denies murdering Joy Morgan. BBC London reported the news first, as far as what I saw. And the official murder trial set for Monday, July 8th, 2019. Dishonest and manipulative man, Joy Morgan, missing student murdered by fellow churchgoer. The murder trial began Monday, July 8th, 2019. That was earlier this week, y'all. Joy Morgan's body has never been found. It has not been found yet. This is disgusting, you guys. This is sick. Joy's house keys were found in Shofa's car. That red and black Honda? Yeah. Joy's house keys were found in Shofa's car, and he stated that he took her home at first, and then he lied, and then he stated... Oh, well, we did go to my, um, after the police found out through the phone, um, on tracking both of their cell phones, they found out that Joy Morgan, Shofa did not take Joy Morgan home. Shofa took Joy Mo Morgan to the place in London where he lives and, and stated that Joy Morgan slept on the, sl the sofa, quote. This is sick. And where was his wife? Joy seemed depressed. Sisters, the church sisters, didn't care. Lydia Israel, real name Laureen Leach, spoke with Joy, spoke with Joy on December 26, 2018. So this Lydia Leach, or excuse me, got all these fake names. Laureen Leach, who was a supposed sister to Joy Morgan, spoke with Joy the day she was last seen on December 26, 2018. And this is what she stated, you guys, listen to this. Quote, she didn't cry for long because I, I kind of respectfully didn't want anybody else to see that she was crying. So I, I dampered it down. What? So you mean to tell me that Joy Morgan was crying to you regarding something that was going on in her life as a young 20-year-old woman trying to confide in an elder, trying to confide in a trusted, so-called trusted wife of um, a so-called leader in IUIC, trying to confide in a so-called well-learned 
sisters in IUIC that's highly promoted. You mean to tell me she was crying to you and you basically told her to stop crying and wipe her tears? You told her to stop crying? And so get this, you guys. Another church member reported Joy seeming really down. Really down. So you guys are looking at Joy depressed. She tried to confide. This was the red flag Joy was trying to reach to pour out to somebody, to connect with somebody. This was her tr screaming out for help. And her so-called sisters dampered it down or didn't do nothing about it and just wipe it off. This is very sad. I mean, this is sick. Fake sisterhood exposed. Remember the bite model that I presented in the video that I made about two weeks ago now called IUIC Destructive Cult Ranking System? Well, Stephen Hassan created a bite model um, to identify if you are in a destructive cult. The B stands for behavior control. The I stands for information control. The T stands for thought control and the E stands for emotional control. And I just want to refresh you guys memory. Emotional control is what what we just witnessed here. Joy's so-called church sisters told her to stop crying, wipe her tears. She don't want it, nobody else to see her like this. Basically told her to fake it till she made it basically told her to smile through the this the crap that she was going through joy was depressed because she's in a destructive cult and didn't know it she didn't know what she was going through the motions two people inside of her her regular self joy and then her cult identity she was crying out for help and those sisters used emotion control to silence joy morgan and so Remember, emotional control, instill irrational fears, phobias of questioning or leaving the group, label some emotions as evil, worldly, sinful, or wrong. They love doing this. They love saying it's evil. They love using Bible verses, saying it's sensual, having emotions is a, a, a feminine trait. They use all these things so that men and women and even children in the cult don't feel empathy and sympathy for one another so they do not show genuine love towards one another um, so they teach emotion stopping techniques to prevent anger so you wonder why nobody fighting up in there how they get the so-called leadership in IUIC talk to those men crazy and you sometimes think like wow this guy is really being verbally abused and he's just taking it all in if that was somebody with some common sense, somebody would have been punched in the face on how bad they talk to those men in there. They talk to sisters worse, but they do talk to the men horrible in there, especially the men who's helping them with like their technology, the computer work, who the men doing the work. They talk down on them. Um, they shower you with fake love, which is called love bombing. They threaten, they can threaten your friends and family, shun you if you disobey or disbelieve, and teach that there's no happiness outside of the group. And you know, Joy Morgan was thinking about leaving, so you know, if it's basically, if you leave us, you won't die. That's what IUIC teaches. These are some of the scriptures used out of context to silence women. 1 Timothy 2, 11 through 12. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Matthew 10, 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end 
shall be saved. James 5 and 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. These are all out of the King James Version Bible, since that's the only Bible IUIC teach its members to understand. They teach their members not to look further into verses and scriptures and to not research outside of the Bible, which is very weird and crazy. But that's what they teach and the people listen. And the main reason that they listen is because IUIC put fear tactics or use fear tactics stating, hey, this is the white man. The white man wrote that. You can't trust the white man. Look at what they did to us for years and all this crazy stuff. So what are your thoughts? IUIC, again, 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 you can't stop this. Where are the Joy Morgan updates? Where are the updates, IUIC London? Why do you not have any video bringing awareness to Joy Morgan's murder, making people aware of the murderer who is also a member of your congregation, Shofa El Israel? You're not doing any of that. Because you want to protect your image, this will hurt your pockets, and you don't care about Joy Morgan, because you don't care about women. She was just another body for your sacrifice, and your destructive, satanic, sacrilegious cult. Why did IUIC London file a false copyright claim against my Joy Morgan video? Ask you guys, ask these questions. Why are Joy's sisters suddenly speaking out? And you know some of them are going to be lying. Some of them are going to make it seem like Joy was by herself inside of the group. But really, Joy took care of the children. She was part of the children group. She watched those kids. She helped y'all. She was there every Sabbath. So y'all cannot try to pin her as a bad person. That was a smart young student. And y'all sucked the life literally out of this young lady made her depressed, left her alone with this fool of all fools who is an identical copy of all the other men in the group because they all are like that and identical copies of the leadership in New York. And it's just sad. Um, so I just want to let you guys know a few journalists have reached out to me one journalist from BBC London and one journalist from Vice Magazine um, reached out to me regarding my experiences in the Black Hebrew Israelite religion and in this Black Hebrew Israelite group slash destructive cult called IUIC. Um, if you have a story to tell, you don't have to have come from IUIC. If you've come from any Black Hebrew Israelite camp, school, cult, whatever they call it and you witness abuse you've experienced abuse verbal mental physical emotional any it, whatever you experienced please contact me at questions for gina at gmail.com a credible journalist and <laughs> excuse me a credible journalist would love to speak to you regarding our experience because i'm going to speak with these journalists Email me for details. This is for serious women only, survivors only, women only who are tired of being silenced, tired of being bullied, tired of feeling unworthy, tired of being shameful of their experiences, tired of ignoring the fact that we were abused, we were played, we almost lost our lives, literally. Um, think of the bigger picture. Speaking up for women who survive this religion, who can no longer speak up for themselves. Speaking up for women who survive this religion, who can't speak up, who may be still in a marriage with somebody who's in the religion. For people like Joy Morgan, who's been murdered due to not knowing that they're in a destructive cult around these crazy weirdos. We got to speak up, women. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and well, click the bell. 
And I will see you guys next time. I do appreciate the love and support. You guys take care.